So my name is Michelle Barboza and I am a geology professor and a co-host for PBS Eons. So I'm a vertebrate paleontologist specifically, which means that I study ancient life in the forms of fossils. And that can be ancient bones, that can be footprints, that can be leaves, anything that tells us about things that used to live on Earth before humans did, before we did. And the vertebrate part of it means that I study animals that have a vertebra, right? So a backbone, if you feel along your back. Um, so there are other paleontologists that specifically study plants or that study snails or other animals that didn't have a backbone. But I like the bony animals. I'm gonna throw out an animal that a lot of people don't know. They're called calicotheres, and they are the biggest land mammals to have ever existed. Um, they are super huge, super wonky, really awkward looking guys that lived, oh, maybe like 30 to 40 million years ago. And they kind of look like derpy giraffe rhino hybrids. Look them up. So my parents are both teachers and they would take me to science and history museums all the time. And I loved that, but I hated science. Like totally did not like science when I was in school. I thought it was like equations and chemicals and like really boring stuff. And then I went to college and I had to take a course. And so I took a geology course and it turns out that like science is also getting to go outside and go hiking and like science is digging for dinosaurs and like you, that can be your job. So once I figured that that was also science, I was on board. So then I took a paleontology course and that paleontology professor was my mentor. Um, I went up to him at the start of class and I was like, hi, I think this is cool and maybe I wanna study it. And then, uh, yeah, then I started doing my research with him and uh, he helped me find internships, and now I teach at the same school with him. There are different things you can do as a paleontologist, and I think a lot of people know about researching and going out and digging for fossils, which is super fun. But my favorite part is getting to talk to people about it. Like, I want everyone to know about it. So I've done stuff like work at museums, which is really fun, and you get to plan different events and how to get people excited about museums. I've done stuff with a team called Cosplay for Science, where we dress up like Jurassic Park characters and talk about dinosaurs. Or we did a Game of Thrones uh, convention. So we talk about all of this pop culture stuff that people already love. And then we're like, wait, but what about the science behind it that inspired it? And if you think that, you know, like these Star Wars monsters are cool, like some of those were real and existed here or like direwolves were real. So I just, again, like, I just love talking about science and all the cool stuff. I would say you don't even have to be a scientist to like science. Like you can be a fan of science and learn about science and that'll matter no matter what profession you go into. Like if you wanna work in politics, we need you to know science. If you wanna be a business person, you need to know science. You wanna be a teacher, you should know science. So science is something that's really fun and interesting and you don't have to become the ultimate scientist or be the smartest scientist. Just gotta think it's kind of cool and learn about it sometimes. Want to learn more about our national parks? Then hit that subscribe button, friend. Stay up to date and catch bonus features by following us on Instagram at Outsider.